right down from where I get my nails done is a, another thrift store. This one used to be the hospice thrift store, but now I believe it's called the community thrift store. I don't make it here quite as often and I can't film inside because they play the music really loud, but I do enjoy stopping in here every now and again. The store hours and they always have really good sales going on. That's one thing I do enjoy about this thrift store. Really pretty pictures. They are $4 each, but they are half off. So they would be $2. I'm not going to get them, but that would be $4 for the matching set. Those are really pretty. Really cute planter. He is an orange dot. Let's see. An orange dot. And he is $2. This right here is everything amazing. Oh my goodness. I love it. It is a $30 valet. You can sit here and put your shoes on. You can have your jewelry there or your change or whatever you put in your pockets and then a little rack to put, put your clothes on, hang your coat hangers on. So cool. Love Someone it. might have had a collection of these little Scotty dogs because here's two more pieces of Scotty dog stuff. Hi, sweet friends and a welcome to my channel. So... You saw me walking up to the thrift store and then I was shared just a few clips there while I was in the store. As I get the feather back in the store, the music gets really loud. So just shared a little bit of footage there in the store. But I wanted to share with you what I purchased. I made two trips to the thrift store and I found just a few items, but I found two really cool ones. So hop right in and share with you what I found. I found this super cute Ziggy. I love him. Every time I see Ziggy, I pick him up. He was $2, but they had Christmas half off. So he was a dollar. I found this pretty plate. This is a Fenton piece. It is my living sentiment. And by the blessing of God, it shall be my dying sentiment. Independence now and independence forever. Daniel Webster eulogy on Adams and Jefferson. So I picked that up. I really like that to go with my 4th of July decor. So I got that. It was $2. These few items were my first trip. So in my first trip, this is my favorite. You guys, can we have a minute with this? <gasps> Oh, it's so fabulous. It is yo-yos. It was $2. It is completely hand-stitched. You can see all the yo-yos were hand-stitched. And then they are connected hand-stitched. This is a twin size. And I absolutely love it. It was on the counter when we went to check out. I asked the lady about it. She said, I don't even know what it is or what you use it for. I said, I know exactly what it is and I know exactly what it's used for. So she said, well, good. You can have it. That way I don't have to, that way I don't have to try to figure it out. So I took it two bucks. I didn't even ask any questions. I'm going to use this in the Disney room. I'm going to use it like for the end of the bed over the um the bedspread just you know let's see so it would just be on the end of the bed like a little coverlet but it's obviously not a coverlet so amazing guys for two dollars can you imagine the work that somebody put into this all the stitching that they did to create this oh my god and to be able to get it for two bucks, that is just amazing. And it doesn't, I mean, it's old, but I didn't really see anything wrong with it. Not at all. So that is my favorite from the first trip. And now I'm going to show you what I got in the second trip. I purchased this a cute little a frog. He's just a chillin'. It's not really much of anything. It was 50 cents, but I just thought it would be cute to put on the porch or put in the window by one of my plants. So I purchased that. 
at my granddaughter's new house they have a hollywood bath and a part of that is in her room and so she's going to have a little dressing area and she loves these little teddy bears and so i found this and i think it is just precious um i hope she enjoys it i hope she likes it it was one dollar so if she doesn't like it i haven't lost much i can always just donate it back but i think it is absolutely precious and it only has one little thing wrong with it and it's the squirrel's tail is broke off but i think we can just color that in a brown and you really won't even notice it so i got that for her next i got these these were three dollars but they were half off and they're i believe to be just spoon rests i want them one on my stove and one by on the counter by the stove they were a three dollars half off so a dollar fifty each or two for three so i got those next i purchased another fourth of july type independence day plate this is a absolutely a beautiful and this is a bicentennial plate. This is a special edition plate produced to celebrate the bicentennial of the United States of America. It says, by appointment to the Royal Danish Court, Copenhagen porcelain made in Denmark. And it was $5 and it is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So I got that. The next item I got was this a bridge set. It was $2, but the games were half off. Here it is. It's got all its pieces. It's got the bridge cards. I got this just for crafting. And then these cards, very, I believe, mid-century modern style and I just think it is fabulous. It even came complete with the pen pencil. So that is really cool. Got that, and I couldn't really find a date on it, but I'm not sure what it is. Next up, I purchased some books, some vintage books. They had their books three for a dollar. I purchased these two Marigold, Marigold miniatures. They were originally sold for 25 cents each and they are just a really cute little little books you can make um tags out of these for crafting or little whatever you wanted to do with them they're just super cute really cute so i got those i got katie the kitten it's a telltale book She's not in the best shape, but went ahead and got her as well. I got Chicken Little. That was a book that my grandmother would read to us. This one was 35 cents. Yes, yes, yes. The sky is falling right that's what this book was about right i'm almost positive yes the sky's falling <laughs> henny penny super cute yep grandmother always read those that book to us next i got these arch books i remember reading these i have the ones that i had and i found these and so i thought i would just add them to my Jesus card and maybe I can incorporate these into crafts. 1971 and this one is um, like that. Love it. So I got that one. This one is about the Good Samaritan. And the walls come tumbling down. So the walls of Jericho. Why is 
So I got those and this one is the baby. Uh, the prince and the baby. The princess and the baby. So, got that. Let me put these on my Jesus cart and um, I'll use them that way. So got those. And then the last book that I purchased was this one. I had to buy them three for a dollar, so I couldn't find any more vintage ones. But this one looked really cute. It's The Gift, a wind song story based on characters created by Terry Teague, maybe, and Diane Turner. I love the color cover. That is so cute. Here's the back of it. And let's see. Look how pretty it is. Just a very, very beautiful book. I love the illustrations in it, and so I, I picked that. So, cute. And then the very last item, which happens to be my, my most favorite item, and that is because I found a piece of my grandmother's hand-painted china. My grandmother was an artist, and she did hand-painted china and sometimes i have the pleasure of finding it at the thrift store and scooping it up so here is a piece that she painted i'm covering up her name um just for i guess a privacy reasons but there it is it's absolutely a beautiful and i am happy to have had the chance to pick it up and it was there at the store for a one dollar I have a huge china cabinet over there that is full of her work. And then these pictures here behind me are also some that she drew. I think this one is 1954. Let's see. This one, it may have a date, but it may be under it. And I believe she painted this one for my mother that one came from our home um, anyway lots of fun paintings here in my dining room that were painted by my grandmother anyway guys that is it that is my haul um, at the uh, community a uh, thrift store if you have enjoyed this uh, video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below become a part of my friends here on YouTube and I will see each of you in my next video Bye, guys.